Hi again. Um, I wanted to remind you of a technique that we used in our workshops. We called it drawing a drawing in three shapes and we did it with ink and brush. And I've gathered together a few things here um, and just use this technique at home. So if you remember, we called it a drawing in three shapes and we did the three things. The outline of the object, the shade on the object and then the shadow that the object cast. And I've just got a few examples here. This is the shell with the candle in it. One of my favourite teacups and my ring <laughs> that you've all seen me wear. These lovely flowers. And it's quite a quick technique. If you remember, it's quite committing because you've got the ink and you just, you just go for it. Some capsicum peppers. Some more fruit and vegetables and some of these great animals that we had in our sessions as well. Same thing though, outline, shade, shadow. Okay, so here's my ink and brush drawing of the pair showing the outline, the shade and the shadow. And I've got my pair set up over here and it's nicely in um, direct sunlight. So it's got this really clear shadow and it's got quite defined areas of shade. And that might change while we do that and that's fine. Um, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm assuming that everybody hasn't got ink and brush at home. So I'm gonna see if we can make some pictures of the pair using just some simple materials that you've probably all got around, um, a few uh, old felt tip pens and some colored pencils and I've got a vivid marker here and a, a black fine liner marker. I know a couple of you have got those at home and just a biro. So let's give that a go. Um, I think we'll start with the fine liner. And I've also just got this stack of, look, it's been used good on one side paper um, because I think maybe you haven't got your uh, sketchbooks at home. So I'm just going to move this over slightly. So I'm going to do the same technique. I'm looking at the outline and any kind of pen is similarly sort of committing in the way that the uh, ink and brush is quite committing. You know, once you've put some down, you can't use a rubber and rub it out. So that's just the outline of the shape. And then this rather lovely sort of slightly twisted stalk. And then from where I am, I'm just thinking, where is the darkest shade? And this is hatching. Do you remember we did, we did talk about hatching? So I just did the softest outline of the shape of the shade. And then this is hatching. And you can darken part of it by cross hatching, which is going across in a different direction. So actually I'm seeing it's quite dark there. Now the shadow, again, it's quite committing. I'm just drawing in the shape as I see it. It's actually stayed really nice and strong shadow in this bright sunshine we've got this morning. And there we go. That's the shape that I see of the shadow. Now there's actually, it's quite a bit darker just there. So that's my cross hatching in some different directions to darken that up under there. Okay. So there's one pair. How about the marker? Oh my goodness, this vivid marker is going to be even more committing because I can't really go softly, softly with this. So I'm just going for it. What's the shape that I see of the object? And you remember... I'm talking about the shape of the object and the angle of the line and I'm really trying to notice if my mind starts saying, oh, this is a stalk, or this is a pear, then I'm just trying to quieten that down a bit. And talk about angles, shapes, lines. Okay, that's really 
really quite dark under there. Can't go over it much on the paper because I'll make holes in the paper. You see, that's just an ordinary vivid. Now, biro, um, I to move that along. I've got my biro. This is great because you'd be surprised with a biro, you can make quite soft marks and they can be quite a lot darker and you can really, really get into that and darken that up. Actually, biros are great fun as a as a drawing tool. So give it a go if you haven't. So here's my oh, it's not got, right. We're rolling now. This is my pear shape. I love the way this pear sort of seems to come here and then around the top, and the stalk is lovely twisted shape. Actually, that's not quite right there, but that's okay. That's the main area of shadow, as I sorry of shade as I see it. Oh, you could really quite a lot go to town on that and get quite dark in there where it's dark. We've moved away from cross hatching now and we're just doing all in. <laughs> and then the shape of the shadow is changing actually, even as we sit here in these few minutes, it's changing. Right, I just want to show you one more, so I'm not going to do a lot of work on that, but you get the idea with the biro, it's quite, that's quite fun. There's actually reflected light there under the, under the pair, so it's not all dark there. Have a look at that on the objects you're looking at. Okay, so I'm just going to show you one more now. I've had a go at this with these um, felt tip pens, and the effect is, it's quite different. It's not terribly good shape of that pair, but it's this is a bit more like uh, doing a sort of graphic design project in a way. Because I think what we'll do, so I've done the outline and the colour. I'm going to do the the shape of the shade in a brown. See, that looks a bit more like a you could work on you can't get you can't work much more over the pen because otherwise you end up with holes in the page but and then the shape so the outline of the object the shade on the object and the shadow it's casting maybe on the table if it's on a table there now I quite like that's that's a bit different it's not a beautiful photographic picture of a, the pair and then I got this lighter now this one's slightly you know it's an old felt tip pen but that gives you quite a nice idea of the lighter tones okay and then you could get into the pencil I think we'll stop for now I might do a whole video on um, colored pencils because they're lovely and they're lots of fun and I, I'm guessing a lot of you have got some coloured pencils at home. But that gives you an idea of some things you can do with probably materials you've got around at home. So give it a go and let me know how you get on. Thanks a lot. Bye.